Hello everyone, just a quick video today because I feel a little sick and I've actually been sick for the past few days uh, and I don't feel perfectly sound today uh, but anyway I wanted to talk you about this little thing I discovered uh, which I think is very useful and can be very useful even to the new Linux user or someone who is not a hardcore uh, advanced Linux user uh, but want to try this thing that can be very useful as I said and on the other hand it's documentation on the internet even on the arch wiki uh, which is you know a, a great resource uh, for this kind of things uh, is not very easy to read in my opinion so I wanted to do a video uh, that shows it in action and can be easy uh, for the new user and I'm talking about the possibility to mount a remote folder on your local machine and what I mean by that is the fact that you can mount a directory which is located on the hard drive of another computer in the same network your actual computer is connected to to your local machine and you can manipulate all the files of that directory uh, as if it was connected physically to your machine uh, like a USB pen drive or an external hard drive and this is done uh, actually through SSHFS uh, which is a very special package that easily allows you to do this uh, this kind of thing uh, in fact uh, if you run SSH now I'm going to SSH from my ThinkPad uh, to my Omen laptop, alright? So you usually run SSH um, your user at the host, okay? And it asks for your password. And now I am to uh, I am connected to my Omen laptop and I'm in my home directory on my Omen laptop. And I can pretty much do a lot of stuff here but I don't have the directory mounted in my file manager and I cannot access to it with say a video editing software or something similar so you have limited possibilities with just SSH but if you use SSHFS you're going to have your folder mounted into your file manager and you're going to have full access to this folder and to its contained files and say for instance you want to work on a project that is on another computer uh, and you don't want to sync files continuously if you leave home for instance or you don't want to work on an external hard drive and that's why this thing can be very useful in my opinion so the first thing you want to do is create a folder in which you're going to mount your remote folder and in my case I just created an NNT folder in my home directory, right? So, next thing, we are going to install a little package which is called just SSHFS. And now I already installed it, so Pacman uh, just syncs it and asks me if I want to reinstall it. Uh, I just say no. Um, I am on Manjaro now, but you can do this on any other distribution of your choice that's why I was using Pac-Man anyway after you installed SSHFS uh, you're going to run it of course and so you just type SSHFS and then you type your username your remote username in this case so the username you want to use to log in in the remote machine then type add and then the remote machine IP address um, then here is the part that differs from uh, regular SSH you type column and then the full path to the directory you want to mount uh, in this case I'm mounting my home directory okay uh, and then you type the path the local path when you want to mount that remote directory in so launch the command enter your remote user password and it's connecting oh mistype it okay so i realized i mistyped my username not my password okay so now everything is fine 
and as you can see now it's actually mounted in fact if I ls my local home directory I said I have an MNT folder so if I uh, cd into it and ls it I now have the uh, remote home folder mounted locally and I also marked those two folders with those little files called ThinkPad and Omen well, it just seemed a quick way to mark them to me and as you can see if I cut the Omen file this is my home directory on the HP Omen and if I cut the ThinkPad file this is my ThinkPad X220 home directory so just to, to to differentiate them because they are similar of course and yes now you're basically done if you open your file manager uh, which in my case is Nautilus because I just like the way it looks uh, I'm going to be honest so I use it you can use whatever file manager you want uh, you have your MNT folder and inside of it you have your remote folder and you also have your MNT remote path here that you can unmount if you want and just a quick tip here if you're using that directory if you're in MNT somewhere else maybe in the terminal or in another instance of the file manager if you try and unmount it you're going to have an error which is going to be resource busy okay so the first thing you want to do when you want to amount that directory and make sure that everything you modified will be saved uh, you'll need to exit that directory okay then you can unmount it either by uh, your file manager or from your terminal by typing fuser mount dash u and then the path you want to amount okay and now it's mounted as you can see it's not uh, available anymore in a file manager and the MNT directory is empty okay so this is very special as I said because everything you edit after you mounted it locally uh, will be saved on the remote directory and so just a quick tip for you today uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more of this content, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And also leave a comment if you think I need to do more tricks videos like this. Thank you very much for watching again and see you very soon. Bye.